You know how all the beauty channels do monthly empties? Well, that's what we're doing today, but sustainable style. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ariel Sahar and of course this is Naturally Mermaid because I'm trying to live a natural lifestyle. So if you're into that type of thing and it's your first time here, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you can learn more about living life more naturally, making good choices for your body and for the planet because that's what we're all about here. So in today's video, I decided to do something that I haven't really seen anyone else do, so maybe it'll catch on or maybe it'll just be little old me doing it, which is fine either way. But I'm going to be showing you all of the things that I've run out of this month and what types of natural um, replacements or like sustainable replacements that I'm going to be using instead or even if I'm going to buy more of that item. So let's just <laughs> get back into the video. <laughs> I ruined that. First thing that I've pretty much run out of this month are paper towels. So I am on my very last roll. Oops. <laughs> well, I've only got, what, three sheets left? And then I'll be done. And honestly, you guys, this roll has lasted me maybe almost a month probably this one roll lasted me a month so i used to go through maybe a roll or a roll and a half a week but since i've started supplementing my paper towels with old rags and dishcloths and stuff like that i've used so many fewer paper towels and now that i'm almost done um i'm a little nervous I think I need to buy more towels because I don't have a washer and dryer so I can't do like a load of laundry every other day. I mean I guess technically I could but I'm not trying to be at the laundry room that often because I, I run out of them really quickly. I use them for obviously everything that I would use a paper towel for. So guys I will probably be buying another roll of paper towels and considering that just one roll has lasted me a whole month i feel a lot better about that whereas before i was buying a whole pack of like six rolls and going through it um in a month so from going down from six rolls to one roll in one month i think that is huge progress my next empty product is this method dish soap so actually, I, I tried making my own concoction of foaming dish soap and it worked. Now I know that I will not be buying another one of these, at least not for myself. I know my hubby likes them, so and he wasn't a big fan of the one that I made, but you know, I might be able to win him over. I really did like the Method product because uh, I used to buy like Dial, the Dial foamy soap. I was a little bit happier about Method because you know it says that it's naturally derived foaming hand wash. But then I went to this website called ewg.com and you can put in most of the larger medium sized brands that make um, different products. Either like natural products or like you can put in the big name products too and it will grade each product based on its like sustainability or something like that so i was looking up method and i was expecting it to get like maybe a's and b's but not all of their products got a's not all of them got b's a fair amount of them had c's and d's so you'll have to look it up i haven't really done too much research into how they grade these maybe i'll make another video on it later if you guys are interested in that but um these aren't i don't think as good as i was thinking that they are unfortunately and one of the things that kind of tipped me off on that was that the second ingredient in here after water is sodium lauryl sulfate and we all know that we're trying to stay away from sulfates. And you would think that sulfates is the number one thing that you don't want to put in your products. But this has sulfates in it. I was kind of confused and upset about that. So I'm not going to buy this anymore. And that's okay. Because, you know, you can't win them all. The more you know, the more you know. 
The next thing that I've run out of that I know for sure is bad, and that is air freshener. So of course we want our house to smell nice and we buy a bottle of air freshener, but air fresheners, they're not good. All the fragrances, unnatural fragrances, and this one may not be so bad since it's not is it an aerosol i don't know if this is an aerosol if it's any better than like the ones that come in the can where you pss, like this on the top i'm not really sure but i'm not gonna buy any more air freshener and i have a like what is it called a humidifier a the thing that you can put water and essential oils in and it will you know smell up your house I have one of those so that helps with keeping the house smell smelling nice and then also I have a little spray bottle that I put water in and essential oils in and I just spray that and that works just as good and I can mix and match different scents with the essential oils that I use and I like that just as well and honestly even better because it doesn't smell like a synthetic fragrance just smelling <coughs> so no more Febreze or other air fresheners like that the next thing that I've run out of which takes us into the beauty category is this face wash this is from yes to brand I've used a lot of their stuff in the past and actually you guys can see one of the videos I've made it's called like yes to obsession because I bought so many of their products because they are paraben free and this one here in particular says that it's a 98% natural product and this doesn't have uh, what does it say free of petroleum and SLS which is that sodium lauryl sulfate that we were just talking about and it's also paraben free so I thought that this was a really good product and really it I don't have anything bad to say about it other than that it is a facial scrub so it does have the micro beads in it I'm not quite sure what the micro beads are made out of if they're not like naturally formed micro beads okay so the the situation with micro beads if you guys haven't heard yet part of the problem with them is that they are made of plastic I don't know what they're made of but they were like getting into the ocean and causing problems you know like just get into your water source and it didn't break down but then some brands such as St. Ives started using I think walnut shells or something like that so even though they made them nat from natural ingredients micro beads cause micro tears in your skin so it kind of opens your skin up for infection and whatnot well, I think it's best just to stay away from them even if they are made from like naturally derived ingredients as much as I liked this and liked yes to of course it comes in plastic so that's one reason to not buy it anymore this has lasted me for at least six months maybe longer if we're all gonna be honest because I've just slowly not been using it much because now I'm just using a natural body soap just a body bar a bar soap that I get from the farmers market that's handmade and I use it on my face and I use it on my body so I don't really need to have a separate face wash from my body wash because the face wash that I'm using it's made from natural ingredients and it it's been working well you know I haven't had any breakouts so that's just what I'm gonna keep using so no more face wash for me all right you guys the last thing that we're gonna put into the empty category even though it's not quite empty yet but I am on one of my last ones and I've been looking for a replacement for this for multiple reasons for a while and that is my plastic shower caps <laughs> we don't want our hair to get wet when we're in the shower of course and you can buy a pack of these plastic shower caps, probably maybe 10, 15, maybe even more. I don't know how many come in it, but at least 10 of these for a dollar from like Walmart. And so for my entire life, maybe ex with one exception, I've always used these plastic shower caps. The main reason that they're awful is because 
well obviously because they're plastic but that's not the biggest problem that I have with it <laughs> my biggest problem with it is that it doesn't fit around my hair so even though I put it on my hair still isn't all the way under it and that's like really upsetting so I've been looking for a shower replacement and I found this one quite a while ago let me take this off <laughs> the replacement that I found is this it comes from this company called shower cap with like three H's what's amazing about it is that of course it's not plastic it's reusable you can use it for who knows how long probably years and also though it's big enough for my hair so it has <laughs> I'm so excited I'm gonna do a full review video on this so I won't go too much in depth but the best thing about it is that all of my hair can fit into it like this <laughs> and it's so cute like what guys this is the best thing ever Ooh. it was $43 so you know that's something to consider but for me it was a hundred percent worth it all right you guys well that's it for this video those are pretty much most of the things that I've run out of this month and have found replacements for. There's some things that I'm still working on going through and some things I'm still trying to find sustainable replacements for. So I'm gonna try to continue this series every single month as I continue to go through things and find new replacements for them. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you like it. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, what do I want you guys to tell me? what sustainable changes you've made in your home or anywhere in your life this month. I'm really interested to know. So again, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you're new, leave a thumbs up and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you are always notified when I release a new video. You don't want to miss out. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.